Okay, folks, I, I'm going to explain what will be uh, in the next few weeks, maybe just two weeks for the rest of semester about these uh, vector analysis and what theorem we're going to learn. And I want to give you an outline of what you are going to expect. Essentially, we're going to learn three different theorems. The first theorem is which we call the Green's theorem. What this does is essentially converting the, uh, the loop interval. So it's converting loop interval to a surface interval. Let me use different pen so it's probably it's easier to read it. So the, essentially, what we are going to do is we're going to change the year from uh, the year. Um, all the loop intervals to the surface interval. And you may be surprised why you make things too complicated. Well, sometimes loop intervals is much harder to do the integration. So essentially, uh, for the Green theorem, what we are doing, we do do 2D problems. Uh, suppose if I have a loop, and uh, so this is my x, y plane, x and a y plane. Now suppose I have a loop, and now this loop could be any arbitrary loop. Let's just put a triangle like this. So now here we have a loop. You just starting from point A, point B, point C. So the thing it's not that fancy was that when we do the integral, suppose we are interested in run a calculation started from A all the way to the B, and then to the C and back to A. So an integral like this is called a loop integral. They have similar elements that we did before. So what, what, what I mean by this is essentially you're going to break down the original integral. The loop integral written like have a circle on the top. And this essentially equals, if you choose this loop, it's going to integrate from A to B and some uh, variables or kernels inside of it, plus from B to C and then additional plus from C to A. And this just complete the uh, entire calculation. So in each of these segments that we uh, we are doing it, essentially uh, it's very straightforward line intervals. Here's a line intervals. So loop interval is a line interval. So this line interval. And you're going to see something like this. Okay. So this video is just show you conceptually what you are going to expect. So remember the green theorem about a two-dimensional essentially is a surface integral convert to the loop integral or the other way around and then for the surface integral now you have must have two uh, levels of integrations so one is along the uh, probably x direction the other were on the y direction and inside of it you will see uh, this one derivative uh, with respect to either x or y direction. The reason is simple to understand. Suppose here you suppose you let's do an integral, let's say, along, let's say, one particular segment. Let's call it A C like this, C to A like this. So in other words, your element is going to DL uh, started from C all the way to A. So that's what we expect. On the other hand, for the surface interval, you remember this, uh, the surface interval, you have DX and DY. Now these two integrals cannot be exactly the same because here you only have a one element involved, but here you have two elements. So therefore inside of it, you could expect partial something over partial x, partial something over partial y like this. And that's you should expect that. So this is the, uh, uh, the surface interval and uh, the, uh, uh, the uh, line interval.